All that you know is only the world of activities. In terms of your knowledge, that great state is being pointed out. Now, who is this Lord whom I am seeking? The teacher answers, Sarvata Panipada. <laughs> His are all hands and legs. Wherever you look, all hands and legs are his. What a God these Hindus have got. Chee. See? Everywhere, is it not? Your hand, my hand, his hand, her hand. The hands of all the animals and birds. All hands are his because he is the dynamic center that enlivens all pairs of hands and legs. Isn't it? The dead hands can no function, the dead legs cannot move. So if the leg and the hands are moving, whether you are doing mischief or not, doesn't matter. What you are doing with your hands and legs is not a question. That will be depending upon the vasanas that you have got. If you have got pickpocket vasana, that will be what you are doing with your hand. If you have got divine vasana, you will be worshipping the Lord. Hi, hi. If you are a chemist and a physicist, you will be working there. What you do with the hand will depend upon your vasana. But that, the hands have got the ability to find. Is it not because of something is there in the hand? <laughs> An Australian came to Ramana Maharshi. A man of few words, always direct to him. And he waited there and he said, Sir, I have heard a lot about you and I have come all the way from Australia. Two weeks holiday. And before I go from India, I want to catch God and go. He thought that God is one of those rare animals somewhere or rare plant. So I'll get it and put it in the bucket and go there and continue my work. That is his idea. He said, yes, I can show you God, but I don't know whether you will be able to see him. Said the old man. He said, sir, that you don't worry. You show me. I will see. <clears throat> and he started looking all around to the room. It's a dark room also. So he, maybe God has been tied down to the cot or to the window like a dog. Maybe now God is sleeping. His idea is that it is somewhere among the oiti. So uh, <laughs> The old man slowly kept the fan down because he's always got a fan. Not the electric fan, but a hand fan. He kept it down. I said, see, that is God. <laughs> the Australian was sure that the old man is pulling my leg. <clears throat> anyway, he tried himself. Because, you know, when I'm looking this side, God must have gone that side. No, no, no. He said, Sir, that is not sufficient. I told you. I have shown you God, but you have not got the eyes to see. It. Go and create the eyes to see. But, Sir, how can this be God? <coughs> you are an educated man. What is this finger made up of? Calcium, carbon, phosphorus and water. Very good. How does the calcium carbon phosphorus is moving? What makes it move? Ah. So don't look at the finger, but see that mighty power that makes it move. That power is that moves the whole universe. You have realized to go to Australia and survive there. Take you can show him, but you have not the eyes to see because the whole mind is hooked on to the OET. 
So when you say like that, you start seeing that. Yes, my wife also says like that. <laughs> and I run there. This uh, old man also is showing that. I never knew that this what she says is God. <laughs> is that because association? <laughs> Sarvada Panipad. His hands and legs are everywhere. All hands and legs are his. 